Out. Yeah, you, we got Tweak on rotation today. We got the Diddy Kong, we got the Cloud. Who knows who will go next? The Sephiroth? Well, Sephiroth's been the popular pick. I think that's just like his character, but I know Cloud is something he's really trying to uh, integrate basically to cover Sephiroth. And then, of course, then there's Diddy. That's just like the OG for Tweak. Yep. Yep, yep. You know, let's get back into the winner's quarters finals. We got Tweak versus Delta Force. Delta Force he's trying to make it his name for himself out here. He's recently sticking back onto the NJPR. And it's definitely earned too. I mean, this, this is like his um, knowledge of Link's options and the way he plays his character is like he plays it super well. He doesn't play Link like any other swordy character. He plays like he uses all his options, the bomb, the boomerang, to absolute perfection. Yeah, certainly the most legendary Link player to ever come out of New Jersey. <laughs> that's uh, that's definitely true. He's got, he does have the results, man. I mean, he's been PR'd multiple times. And honestly, the North Jersey tournaments, he's pretty much like a, a regular top three, top four contender. So, I mean, if you're going to get a good Link like set, Delta Force is going to be the guy, at least in this area. That's definitely true. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, Y Tweak would choose Cloud in this matchup specifically. Um, yeah, what do you think is like the advantage for Cloud in this matchup, or what do you think this matchup even looks like? I think at this point we're already seeing it, like how much damage that Tweak's already taken. It's like imagine this, but like with Diddy, right? Like having to deal with the bomb that always constantly floating there would mess up so many uh, of your combos. It's like I don't think it's worth even committing to, right? It's like okay, you know what? It'd be easier. It's kind of like rest my brain a little bit. I don't have to go from crazy next level setup. I just play Cloud. Yeah. Have my own disjoints to deal with this on my back air, my forward air. It kind of just to play your game, play into your hands, but kind of play into my own hands at the same time you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Play my game to cancel out your game. Yeah, and I guess those disjoints could help with projectiles, but Delta Force obviously has a good, uh, I mean, he chased that roll and got the up tilt. That was good on Delta Force to get that first stock off too. Delta Force is playing this so, we saw earlier, we had Justin fighting Tweak, using that his insane movement to constantly be around so we can kind of keep up with him. And Delta Force is not really trying to keep up with Tweak, more just kind of like, just playing his own thing, saying like, hey man, I'm just gonna bomb, some forward air, and you have to play around me. I'm, I'm, I have the lead. I'm all this damage on you. That, uh, back air's not gonna do it. Delta Force still making it back on, oh my gosh. Tweak missing that, uh, ledge, okay, there we go. There it is. Right. Good by Tweet to stay patient there. Just look for uh, that up out of shield. I mean, he, he didn't really, he wasn't really forcing kill off the ledge or fishing for cross slash, anything like that. This thing you don't really like. Sometimes players think that oh, limit on deck, you have to like you have to force the situation and make things crazy happen. Tweet says like, nah, I'm just gonna wait for you to throw a stupid move out on my shield. Yeah. And up out of shield is like uh, those up out of shield moves are. If you think about them in a certain way, they're low key a confirm. You know, if some they let, if you get that bad hit on your shield, it's a Whoa. confirm. Oh. It's an OP. Oh my god, that was unique. that was like a, a frame wave me crazy. Yeah, that was sneaky. That's the thing about Link's bomb; it just kind of lingers there. You always kind of have to be aware of it. It's not quite to the level of Snake C4, but like it, it could cause some trouble. It's it's the Nana to your popo, dude. Like mm -hmm. Nana's still hanging there, kind of like back you while your shield's broken. And it's like that. Some crazy little uh, move to kind of keep you on your toes. I think the appeal of, of Cloud for Tweak at this point is it, it's a character that's probably, I was actually, this is basically from Charles' advice to Tweak on Tweak Talks. It's kind of a character you could just play neutral because Tweak's always going to have a good neutral. I mean, it's Tweak. And then there's like characters that require maintenance to keep up with. I, I don't think Cloud's necessarily one of those maintenance characters. So I think when you're able to find like a matchup even like Link that might not be as common, like you could be like, well, let me just scrap a neutral with Cloud and see how it goes, and then you can kind of assess. Speaking Sephiroth comes out, maybe Tweak, and yeah, that was crazy. Maybe Tweak. Maybe Diddy. Oh wait, oh my god. 93%. Yeah. Delta Force right now. I mean, Tweak's just trying to like play neutral, play this steadily, but just wow. Delta Force is throwing out so much damage. That's the thing, you kind of like, oh my god, that forward air is going to take it. Delta Force taking game one off Tweak. Damn. I think we're definitely going to see a character switch here. I doubt the cloud stays out. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think you might switch to Diddy Kong. I, I could see uh, putting on pressure with Monkey Flip being of interest. I mean, that would be uh, something I would... I, I just want to get in Link's face. And Delta Force was like playing Diddy. Of playing Link like Diddy, like he, he was only, like he, I, I loved how that that last stock he went from playing super patient neutral, taking damage with bomb, to straight up just like all bear combos, doing s tons of damage. Except Rob, that's what I was thinking. Yep.
you just want to, I think Sephiroth, the mindset with Sephiroth here is like, hey, I don't feel like interacting with all this garbage. Just stay away from me. Just, yeah. I feel back here. Go away. Stay out of my face. Yep, Sephiroth. Okay, interesting. I'm wondering to see how uh, Sephiroth needs that range, you know, needs those disjoints. And Delta Force is pretty good at applying pressure for Link. You would think... I associate Link with more distance and tricky projectile stuff. Uh, he's really good at just chasing you down. Yeah, the thing, though, it's like... It's the two of these players, we got Justin and Delta Force, you expect one thing with their character, and they just do the polar opposite. Yep. And they make it work. It's not like, oh, some, like, oh, you're playing the character wrong. You're playing the character wrong, but in all the right ways. Yep. You're keeping your opponent on their toes at all times, and it's, it's working. I think Tweak is definitely trying to uh, combat this with the uh, more range with Sephiroth. And it's doing a good job already playing that, uh, the percentage lead. They're doing better than the game number one. There you go, that forward air. This forward air is doing him so well right now. Kind of keeping this, uh, keeping Delta Force at bay. It's going to be hard to come back from this one. Ooh, he's timing the downer there, though. Don't find the back air either. All right, there we go. Back air keeps good from Delta Force. That forward air, that's going to take it, yep. Sephiroth, same way as Kirby, by the way, which is the same thing. You're dead to that forward air at 90. Tweak is still... Wow, for Delta Force to take that first stock is crazy, because Tweak is looking so tricky with Sephiroth. I mean, obviously I'm not these players, but I would be so thrown off by how hard it is to get in on this Sephiroth, man. The way he used the Nair on the first stock was just... First time he used it was just an escape route. Escape route. Like, no, you're going to stay at my range. Oh and my Delta gosh, Force Delta doing, Force. Keeping, so keeping much his right toes now. here. He's still alive. Wow, amazing DI. Well, oh, I thought I was expecting a bomb recovery there. Very good uh, mix up there from the uh, soon the bomb onto stage. Delta Force still hanging on to the stock and 64%. Uh, okay, nice. A little, too, uh, a little too aggressive there. Still got that lead on Tweak right now. He's kind of like. He's like playing it up in your face where it's like he's not really worried about trying to combat with Sephiroth. More just like, I'm going to get in your face and I'm going to fight you where you can't fight me back. Up in your chambers, you know, but yeah. where, where Sephiroth doesn't thrive. Keep you guessing. Force over there too. The bomb is out once again. Let's see if Selfforce can find this ledge trap here. Oh. Don't look too crazy with those F-tilts there. Let's see if we can get an advantage. I'll be wing online. Something crazy happened right now. Agents from Tweak. Case from both these players. Oh, getting called with the bomb. Tweak's trying to find a confirm right now, trying to find a way to take a stock off of uh, Delta Force. I don't want to keep him, let him have this elite anymore. The amount of stuff he's doing with his bomb. Oh! Delta Force trying to put us on so much pressure on this ledge, and Tweak is not letting him have any of these uh, advances right now. Oh! There we go. It's going this neutral. It's just like absolutely like nail biting. I don't know what's going on right now. Yeah, it seems like uh, Tweak is more happy to play the back step game and force Delta Forces to try to, to Delta Force his way in. <laughs> he he kind of like learned the first game. Like Delta Force, this is not your average link, right? He's gonna if he gets in, he's gonna do a lot of damage. So he's gonna uh, play at your max range and not let him play his. <laughs> get comfortable at all. Oh, okay. Nice so the uh, approaching up tilt there from uh, Delta Force. We're on last stop situation once again. I think Loki, if uh, Delta Force finds his way in, he could get some crazy damage. All right, there we go. Trying to find the back here in the jab. Trying to find it. Okay, that uh, boomerang hit confirmed could be huge for him there. Already put... Oh, okay. Yeah, you got a little too, uh, a little too lost in the sauce there. There we go. So the uh, fourth there coming out from Battle Delta Force. So on this ledge, oh, wait man, a minute! That's it! Wait! What? Delta Force 2 over Tweet. What? He just threw out the F smash! You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful against this Link, man. 70%.